regardless of whether we're interviewing someone from the military or someone from uh, uh, the industry at large, we're hiring for as much cultural fit as we are for technical expertise and capability. So the process is rigorous and it weeds out a lot of people up front. And I think because of that, we have a better success rate of people that are interested in broadening themselves. And, and it also, you know, when you come into to the Google environment and you see like these guys really, really know their stuff and they're doing all these other projects, they have their, their main job, but they're also leading a project to, to turn up this new cluster. Um, they're you know leading this other improvement project. This guy just filed a patent application in operations. He just filed a patent application because he figured out how to create a relay circuit better than anything that was done in the you know in the commercial market. And so they see that, and I think everyone kind of it's like, hey, I got to get on my A game here, and it drives them to. Uh, want to broaden themselves and want to become, um, you know, I think people want to generally continue to advance and, and learn. And while as much as salaries are important because we all need to, to make a living, I think that at a certain point there's also a desire for something else and a lot of that to me is kind of the continuous learning environment. Did you go to work this week and it's like, hey, wow, that was pretty interesting. We had a problem that I hadn't seen before. And I think that's that's a lot of what drives people. I agree.